So I think part of the fear of doing videos and getting on social media and all of that sort of stuff is that you actually um, have to take responsibility for who you are. Yeah. And you have to see yourself and you have to listen to yourself and you have to see how people are responding to you. I mean, coming back but to that's why a lot of people never start, right? And, and yeah. it may not even be video, it could be another skill, another tool or creation, creativity. It's It can be a... Um, by really showing up and really being seen and heard for what's at the core, not just the persona. That's a scary thing for a lot of people. I think it is until you get to the other side when you actually let go of the masks, Yes. so to speak. It's freeing. Yeah. yeah. Um, I feel better as a person because of the experience that I've gone through with video of letting go of all the stuff that was stopping me and how that has affected my life. Right. I'm a much more empowered person simply because I've done video and have gone through that removing the layers that are not necessary anymore. Yeah. So I've had to let go of a lot of stuff that was actually me. Yeah. You know, it wasn't fake stuff or anything like that, but it just had no purpose anymore. And also, it's almost like uh, the camera becomes um, a mirror for you to see those parts that you didn't realise you liked or disliked or had judgement around. You know, when you said that you are enjoying your life now more as a human because of your experiences through video, I sort of, those stories made me think of of that, of this um, process of letting go and surrendering and um, sometimes we're not aware of what we're carrying until we really see it. Until all of a sudden you've got to face it and yeah. you don't even know what you're facing. No. But it's awesome. It's scary, it's hard, mm. but it's awesome. Yeah, I think it's a great And I think jump process. into it, like just, you know, do it, like scare the shit out of yourself, yeah. you know, it is terrifying.